Hello, thank you for joining us. This is a brief tutorial on our new archives section. If you've visited us recently, you may have noticed that we have new software for our archives, which is the main part of our Green Connections website. If you visit us at www.greenconnections.com, you will see this website. This is our home page, and you can either go to the archives bar here on the top or scroll down and enter the archives with the learn more button. Either option takes you to this page about our archives and this is the page where you can enter the archives. We do have some additional information here such as a link to our frequently asked questions page and other resources will be posted here as we continue to develop new tools. For most of our visitors, you will use this top button to enter the archives. If you do happen to be doing research from the Cornerstone Genealogical Society or the Greene County Historical Society or other of our local facilities, you can use the library login at that facility to get some extra information and access. So for now, we're going to click on Enter the Archives, and this is a free public site that anyone can use. When you come to the archives, you're going to see some basic information on this front page telling you who we are, providing a link back to our main site, and then as you scroll down, you'll see some different categories that you can go into to look at records. There are several ways to search and view the records. If you want to do a, a search from this main page, you can go up to the search box and type in a keyword. We're going to look for the Patterson family. We recommend putting a phrase like this in quotes because we have nearly 5,000 items on the site right now with about 15,000 items more to be added. So narrowing your search a little bit with a quoted phrase will help you fine tune your results. And we do use families as keywords so that you can search in this way. Once you type in what you're interested in, just hit the enter key and it will bring up your search results. This is a detailed search result and you get this particular view when you search from the main page like we just did. I'm going to show you some other uh, ways to see your search results as well. But when you come here, you can scroll through and you'll see different items and you'll see a little bit about each one. And you can click on any of these items to see the full size information, photos and descriptions and other details that may be posted. So you can explore any of these and there are pictures as well as documents and there may even be books or objects that refer to the families. Um, in these cases, for example, the Axtell marriage record uh, ledger is a document that you can click on and when you come in here you're going to see a description, some of the names that we know are included. You can click through to see any of the pages in the ledger you can also scroll down here to where we have web links and you can click on this PDF that will allow you to download the full document. For many of these documents, we also have transcriptions that you can download or view. And in this particular case, the transcription is coming soon. So you'll want to check back for things like that. You can use this little arrow. Uh, within the software to go back or you can use your back arrow to return to the rest of the site and do more searches. We're going to go all the way back so that now we're back to the main site again. And so this is where we did our last search and got those detailed search results. Another way to search is to choose a section if you want to look for a document, you can go into the archives. We have cemetery records, objects, photos, which is our primary section, and publications, which are books that have been published about Greene County history. If you click into one of these sections, so in this case we're going into photos, 
you'll be able to see thumbnails that you can click on for all of these different items. So this is fun if you want to just browse and see what we have. But you can also do a search within this section. So if you want to look just for photos, you can go here and try another search. For example, let's look for log cabin. And again, we're going to put that into quotes and hit the enter button. And now here are all the pictures that have been tagged as having a log cabin. And you can see in this search how you're getting the thumbnails and just brief descriptions. So this is another view of the search if you like this format better. If you want to search across all of our items, you can either click on all and do a search across everything from this uh, green screen, or you can go back to our main site again and search from the home page. So we'll do another search for Civil War, again in quotes, and hit enter. And this again is going to bring up documents as well as photographs. So you can see a wide variety of things that include Civil War. Where you're seeing cemetery records, that's often because there's a veteran known to be buried in that cemetery. You, of course, see photographs here, as well as some documentary records and books that have been published. When it comes to books that have been published, like this one about the Civil War in Greene County by Kent Fawner, we do not have the book online. The book is in copyright, but we tell you about the book and let you know um, that it exists and where to find it. In this case, there's a link here to get the book from Amazon. And of course, you can also request these books at your local libraries. So this is more um, a tool to help you know about these books and what families they may relate to. And so those are a few ways to search the site um, and to explore some of the different things that are included. If you have any questions or if you would like to receive a high resolution version of a photograph, you can return to our main site using this visit website button. This is going to take you back to greenconnections.com and here we have a contact form so you can send us a message right here and let us know what photograph you're interested in or if you have feedback that you would like to provide. Uh, maybe you can identify a picture or would like to suggest a keyword for our search box to help people find the photograph, you can do that. So you can explore the rest of the things on this site as well. And we hope that that helps you to get started with navigating the site. Please let us know if you have questions. There will be additional search features that will come. Uh, we're working on some different things that will be added to the site as well as part of the software. Thank you so much.